Hello and welcome to another video by Sakurai Guide. Today, I am going to show you that how you can use Find DNS in order to access your DPR if for any reason you cannot obtain the static IP address from your internet service provider. Let me first explain what is the benefit of using Find DNS service. When you use this service, this website will link your IP address to a domain name that it provides to you. After this you will just need to use that domain name and every time your IP address changes, your router will report the new IP address to Dine DNS website and Dine DNS will link the new IP to the mentioned domain name. So by using the domain you will always access your DPR via the router regardless of whatever the IP address will be. First I am going to obtain the domain name from Find DNS by going to www.findns.com. I am going to choose free trial option for now and choose a host name Securica and then there will be a lot of options that can be selected from a drop down menu. The one I am going to choose would be DVR DNS. In the IP address field, the current IP address to be selected by clicking on the link here. In this video, we presume that you are using the computer that has already connected to the same router and network that you will be accessing later on. So the IP address we see here is the one that the domain name will access. Once is done. Click on the button that says Add to Cart and then proceed to register a new account if you have not done it before. You will be asked for username, password and email address. So I am going to type all these information here. Remember that we will be using these information later on when we are going to configure Find DNS in our router. So make a note of them. You should provide a valid email address as they will send you an activation email which you will need to open and copy the code into their website. At last time DNS will ask for credit card details. So please note that they will begin to charge you after the free trial period if you do not cancel your order within the trial time. Once you have completed the registration, then need to access your router by typing your router's local IP address, also known as gateway number. You can find gateway number normally printed on your router or hub. In this example, my gateway number is 192.168.2.1. Then router will ask for security information which normally contain username and password. Again, if you do not know your router's information, please refer to your router's user manual or contact your internet service provider. Once you have logged in, Look for an option says DDNS or Find DNS. In my router it is located under the one option. Once you have found and clicked on it, you will need to type the Find DNS information here. It should ask for host name or ID, username and password. Then your router can locate your account with Find DNS and will be authorized to modify the IP address once it has changed. Save all these information in your router if it has got save or apply button and you are ready to go. Wherever your DPR viewing software asks you for IP, you should type the domain name instead. Please make sure that you must type full and accurate domain name. In this example it would be http colon forward slash forward slash securia.dprdns.org forward slash I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching.